Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagal Pajapati and in this video I will be telling you one of the important questions of Python which was asked in the recent interview. So I got this question from a LinkedIn post so I just thought to explain this question so that it will be very beneficial for you to crack a Python interviews. Okay, so the question is that find the items greater than itself after its index in a Python list. Okay, so what does it mean is that if you can understand that we have this out input, right? And this is a list, right? And we have this output. Output is what? Now, if you consider this 99, right? So 99 will have to, I mean, we have to check this 99 with the rest of the items, right? Like 28, 12, 55, 13, 15, 76, 99. So 99, and then, you know, 99 is not greater than greater than uh, rest of its uh you know rest of rest of the python list elements okay so we kept here like zero and the m and the, you know we, since we do not have anything so we kept here zero i mean the empty uh empty list we can say but if i talk about 28 right now you can see 28 is less than uh with 55 76 and 99 so that's why we kept here three and the numbers are like this then we have 12 right so 12 is le less than 55 13 also 15 also 76 also 99 so we kept like you know this number likewise we have to do it okay so let's see how we can you know solve this problem so for that what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna write here for i in input okay this is a list right and then what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create a variable called count of zero count is equal to zero and going to create a output list which is a empty one right now i'm you know i'm going to do a iteration right now what i will do i will write here for um, j in range from where i have to start the out in a loop uh, you know uh, input dot index of i till length of the length of the list so that is input now we have to actually uh, check right whether this value is greater than the rest of the values or not right so here i need to i need to write uh, j of uh, no input of j is greater than i right so like we receive 999 so you can assume the 99 comes over here at the at the place of uh, i right and then and then you know uh, and then we are we are we are checking with 28 12 55 and so 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 if it is so then what we have to do we have to we have to write here just a minute we have to write here um, output dot list dot append what i need to insert j value right or uh, input of j we can say input of j and then count is equal to count plus one right and i'm just gonna i need to print it right so i can print here what i can print here i comma count comma output underscore list let's run this problem and we'll see what will what it will you know run. You can see we got this output that is the correct output right like 99 0 28 3 12 5 55 2 now why 55 returns two count because you can see only 76 and 99 are the numbers or the element of the list which are greater than the 55 that's why you know it printed two and these values also 
likewise you can see all the other output right so see this is the problem which i received from a linkedin post i so just thought to share with you so if you have any other problem you know which you couldn't solve it during the interview you can you can send me uh, you can send me that uh, uh, that problem statement over my email id or over my linkedin or over my you know telegram channel right so i will try to make a video on top of that and try to you know give a better solution okay so that you know it will be a win win situation for you also and for the users who are watching this video so you know try to do that and also i have recently you know launched multiple courses on my website if you are willing to use i mean if you're willing to enroll in that courses please check out those courses i will give the link in the description box so that you can go and check it out right i hope that you have loved this video if you do do please like share and give a shout out on linkedin so that you know uh, this video these kind of video the paid courses whatever it is right it will be reachable to many users right so thank you bye bye we'll meet in the next lecture